Welcome to Will at Work. I'm Kevin. <clears throat> today we've got Designer's World. This will be a quick one today. We're not going to play this one. <clears throat> Is it still sealed in the box? <clears throat> we looked at uh, My uh, Dream Life. <clears throat> Excuse me. Dream Life, uh, which is a uh, prequel to this. Dream Life apparently sold really well, uh, and uh, so Tiger made uh, Dream Life Superstar and Designer's World, I think were the other two games that were uh, based on it, designed specifically around girls. This one was, you know, to become like a fashion designer of some sort, <clears throat> make your designs and try and succeed. <clears throat> you know, so it's mostly uh, says create hundreds of styles, hire the perfect models, hit the runways. Will the judges love your work? See if your designs bring you fortune and fame. Plays on your TV. You know, what's interesting is that uh, at one point I read about um, a while ago, like a long time ago, uh, Kim Kardashian uh, had a game on mobile and it was like I never played it or anything but what I read about it was like it was some sort of thing where you tried to um, I don't know if you were playing as a Kardashian or you were just you made a character or something and you were trying to you know pick out the right outfits and and go on the you know um, in front of the paparazzi and all that sort of stuff and you would earn points you know how these things are and you know, you would have to spend money, I guess, to, to be able to purchase different uh, outfits or things. Anyway, I had read that she made something like a, I mean, <clears throat> like a hundred million dollars on, on that game because it was so popular. I don't know if that's the true amount, but that's something I remember reading. And uh, <clears throat> it was a very popular game um, among girl gamers, you know, when everybody else was out playing like Fortnite at the time or something. Uh, girl gamers were um, playing the Kim Kardashian uh, title. And so um, these kind of predate that, but it's along the same lines. Even my sisters, uh, my stepsisters, when we were growing up, they had these, um, it was kind of hard to explain, they, they were like these plates, uh, like square plates with patterns on them, different types of outfits. Uh, and you could like do the top, the you know, the bottom and, and the lower part of the, um, and you could switch these plates around in whichever combination you wanted, and then you took like a piece of paper and put it on top of the plates, and then you rubbed like a, kind of like a charcoal uh, on it, and then it would like transfer onto the paper. It was very basic. It was all before, you know, video games were this powerful. And, uh, although the way I made it just sounded like something from the fucking Civil War, sorry. <laughs> but, you know, maybe it was designed during the Civil War, I have no idea. Uh, but yeah, so, um, you know, this is just another tiger system that, you know, kind of capitalizes on that, um, fashion designer type of thing. Uh, I'm amazed they didn't try to make other ones like home decorator and that sort of thing. And I have no idea if these, um, subsequent units sold very well. I know that Dream Life did. I don't know if these other ones did. I mean, I don't see why not, but, you know, it's all about timing. You release Dream Life, sells really good, you know few months later you could probably come out with this and nobody buys it you know because they've moved on to the next thing that's the risky part of making any kind of a video game or whatever so anyway i don't have anything really to show or anything it's just one more for the count uh so um thanks for watching and i'll see you tomorrow on the next video